Hello and welcome to all the seekers of knowledge around the world. My name is Hussam al-Din, or you just can call me Sam. I have stumbled upon this very cool library two months ago. It's called Bandas AI. And I want to talk to you about it because it's a very good library. I have I think it's have a very bright future. Bandas AI is not a replacement for Bandas. Actually, it's like you took the power of Bandas and the large language model and made them do fusion and bam, you get Bandas AI as a result. Okay, but what is Bandas AI? Bandas AI aiming for non-tech people to chat with their data, but as a developers like you and me, we can have a more than just chat. We can have a full conversation. We can ask it about um, uh, anything about it. we can ask it a question and it will respond based on the data that we have okay why is Bandas AI Gabriel Ventura I hope I said his name right the author and the creator of Bandas AI one in, uh, in, in one of his videos he said Bandas AI was designed to be easy to use even if you are not familiar with generative AI or Bandas you can simply ask a question to your data and the natural language process will handle the generation of the code to answer your question. So Bandas AI actually is used for multiple things like uh, data acceleration, data analysis, visualization, cleaning data, and even feature engineering. We will now know what and why. But about what about how? How is Bandas AI doing? Actually, Bandas AI is doing pretty well for a new library. It by the time I'm recording this video, it have almost 9k on GitHub, which I think is pretty cool. Right now, I'm gonna stop talking and start coding. Before we start, as usual, we have to install it. The first thing you have to do is just type the install Bandas AI. We have to have the last version to get it work correctly. And I'm using also bison.nv. You don't have to install it, but I'm using to store my information. The bread and butter of Bandas AI is something called Smart Data Frame. Smart Data Frame is kinda you took the Bandas or Polaris capabilities for Data Frame and you add on top of it the conversation feature of large language models like OpenAI. It's simply you just have to import it from Bandas AI by import smart data frame and you can work with any data set like um, regular Bandas we do. I have, I have a data set here. I got it from Kegel of the top um, for the happiest country around the world by the score. And I'm asking the data frame, normal Bandas, to give me the first uh, five rows and it did that for me. Okay, in order to make smart data frame actually work, we have to connect it to a large language model. For this main example, where I'm gonna use the OpenAI, and simply, I'm for safety only, I'm using .env. I have an .env file, I bought it in Google Colab that have the value of this key, OpenAI key, and I'm calling it uh, here to connect it to OpenAI. And I'm calling this, large language model and I am passing it through to configuration inside data frame and giving it the data frame that I have. Very simple so far and we can just start use the SDF, the smart data frame as we want. Like simply we can give tell it give us the data for the certain, a certain data set uh, for a certain uh, row for this record I want the United States uh, data and here it Print it out very fast, but this is not like important here. What is the cool thing about the smart data frame? You can ask it questions, like simply you can tell it return to five countries by the score, and it will handle this for us. He printed the data of the top five country: Finland, Denmark, Norway, Iceland, and Netherlands. Also, you can tell us a little bit more a complex question like give us a sum of the GDP of the 
two unhappiest countries. It did that for us. But we don't know what is going on in the back end of Bandas AI, what the process, what's going on. So here, this is very awesome from the creator of Bandas AI that you can see the process of what's happening. You can ask it, SDF, smart data frame, give me lost code generated. And it here, it tell you what is going on. Like it analyze, prepare, process, then it start to do what it's necessary. And examples here, then print out the code. If you use this code, it's gonna give us the same result in Bandas AI, but we don't have to write any code if you're using Bandas AI, actually. This is one of the coolest thing I did for non-tech people. You can actually do a visualization here I am asking it, I'm not coding at anything. Give me a plot chart of scores by country for the top 10 and use different color for each bar. And it did it for me. It again, I'm not typing any code here. Also, uh, you can chain command by Bandas AI. Here you can ask it to do something at first by chat, then ask it to visualize it. I am here asking it to give me top 18 countries by the score, then I'm telling it to give me a buy short fight for these countries. Also, this is very cool. I didn't find it in the demo, but it was mentioned inside the uh, documentation. So far, so good, right? But Bandas AI doesn't stop here. It gives us another one of our full tools that it's called Smart Data Lake which uh, you call it that I think because you can put multiple data frame inside this lake. Here I have two different data frame, one of the countries and one of billionaires. And here you do the same thing, give, uh, give, get bandas, read the CSP, pass it to smart data frame, but this time we give it a name instead of configuration. We are not passing what, what la large language model we are using. We do the same thing for billionaire data frame, and here we are doing, giving this two data frame to Smart Data Lake. Here when we and here we give it the configuration of the large language model that we want to use, and then ask it a question. But this question is multiple layer question, and you see why? How many billionaires existing in the top five have its country, and what are the country's name, and what are the percentage of the total billionaires around the world? So. It brings out after a little bit of thinking, um, they are, are 14, okay, billionaires, uh, 40, a, a billionaire in this top five happiest country, Netherlands, Norway, Denmark, Finland, Iceland. They represent 1.5, I think, percent of the total number of billionaires around this world. All right. But we need to know what kind of code have happening in the back end. And I wanted to know honestly. So I, it's it's saving a lot of time here. Like, see, this is the code. Uh, top heaviest, get the first data frame, then give me the first five, then billionaires, uh, uh, the top billionaires, and selecting the second data frame and get the countries and compare it to the countries of the heaviest one. Then it give me the links of billionaires because I asked of the top 10 and here it's give me the happiest uh, one and then it gives us the length of the total billionaires. It's, it's, I don't have to think at all. I just have to ask. This is really powerful. And that's not it. You can actually integrate another language, language models into Bandas AI. For example, LangChain I have different uh, uh, large language models that we can work with. All I have to do is install it, uh, install Bandas AI language chain, and then import it. And just select what large language model that you want to work with. In our case, I'm using OpenAI again, because I don't have access for this other two. And also I think OpenAI is the best current large language model in terms of capability and coding analyzing. And here we just using the large language model, the same thing that we're using as a configuration here in the smart data frame. 
and we can set the max token give it the open ai key here and it ask it same question and it print out the results okay there is two more things that i want to show you something called connectors connectors is the way that you can talk to an actual database for example pandas ai have these connectors that you can talk to for example uh, uh, mysql uh, data set database or a postgre sql database i don't have an, an actual database running right now on a local host but i think this should be its own video because and if you imagine it with me me as a full stack developer for years i know that if you made this correctly you can actually talk to to do database from dashboard and ask it any question that you want and it will get you the results the connector is very awesome and here i did an example uh, using the yahoo finance connector it's already integrated inside bandas ai and uh, it's giving me the stock price actually uh what it's it, it's i think it's a stock price i don't know what is the msft but here i'm talking about the tesla stock price and i'm giving it the smart data frame the AI connector give it the configuration and ask the connector uh, a chat and hear the response and i'm telling blood the short of the tesla over time with tesla stock market this is also very cool if you know how to use it and also if you combine it with a web um, api or web development um, or web development uh, project this is really nice and here is the bandas ai demo ending we don't talk about agent which is the newest thing inside bandas ai at all in the side the demo this is inside the documentation i will leave the link for it here so far i didn't mention one of the bad thing about smart data frame smart def data frame doesn't have a memory it's like talking to someone is very old have amnesia he will tell you story in the middle of story if he got interrupted and you ask him back about the story he doesn't have any memory about it like that's it you ask him a question and he answer you only this one question okay there is no follow-up to solve this issue bandas ai also created something called agent and it's remember the context so you can track what you have been asking this agent you get a clear answer detailed explanation here i have a simple example but you can work on top of it i'm using the same one in the documentation actually uh, you import uh, same thing and also you import agent you give it a small data set uh, you give it two different data set here best the open api give it this information to agent and give it a memory limit here uh, we are asking there is uh, this agent who get the paid most and it will tell us actually and we also can ask it a clarification for the questions that we ask and analyze the response that we give it to here the first thing is the answer the envelope who gets the base most is olivia of course because here in olivia it gets seven thousand so it gets a lot a lot a lot of money what is the bias for the determining who get the paid most the, here he start to clarify uh, do clarification for questions is the very only uh employee in the company well, there is another term, a factor determining that which employee gets paid. And last thing, it does analysis here. Basically, it, it do step by step like you are thinking right now before you code. Uh, first, need to combine two data set, do merging together. Then we're going to get the uh, employee bar ID. Once you have the ID, we can uh, start to get the salary and see through the salary who have the highest uh, uh, a highest who have the highest salary by looking at the name and it print it out not only do the code for us but it also analyze the steps for how it got there one of the also brand new thing i think it's a new thing inside agent it's something called skills i know it's new because 
it did the only thing that did give me error when I was working with it is the skills to skills is actually is like adding custom function to your agent. We're doing the same thing here. Uh, is the same thing here, nothing changed, but we're adding a custom function that will create a plot using the salary. And uh, when I was working with it, uh, the demo told me that you only have to just put the function inside the add skills. You don't have to pass anything uh, uh, as like a parameter or something. I did that and it didn't work. Actually, you have to Bez, uh, put the parameter by yourself or will will not work. Um, I don't know if this error or is it was missed upon in documentation. Uh, I can't tell honestly which one is the right thing, but like it, eventually I made it work, which does a get a result, but the Emily salary against the name use a different color for each bar. And it did this as the result. So that's it. It's uh, Bandas AI. I think Bandas AI have a very cool feature uh, doing a lot of work. I think the next step it will be integrated as a GUI. Like you basically can upload your data and ask it a question and it will respond with whatever the data that you have from the uh, and would response from whatever data that it have. And uh, I think you should keep your eye on Bandas AI. Did I just rhyme? Anyway, uh, you should keep your eye on it because it might get like a little bit better. Uh, it might be even doing much better thing in the future. So I hope you enjoyed this video uh, and thank you for watching.